Aaron Boone now in the manager's report brought to you by Geico. Aaron, after the uh, fielding error by Britain in that eighth inning, things seemed to unravel pretty quickly. What were you seeing from your vantage point? Yeah, I mean, you know, in he was about to to work work his way out of it. Obviously, he he lost Lau, um, you know, with the walk, but then you know gets the ground out on Martinez there to, you know, set up the first and second, still the tie tie score. So you know, with Britt, that's always just one pitch away, and and you know, Brasso Brasso got it and and was able to drive him in. It looked like you had Ottavino ready there. Any consideration to bringing him in there to to face Brasso? Yeah. Uh, definitely, but you know, then you start getting into uh, the left-handed pinch hit options um, they have, and I I just felt like once we got it to first and second there, and and still a tie score, I just felt like you know Britt had a good chance of putting the ball on the ground. Garrett Cole was just in, and he still seemed frustrated by the outcome of the game. Very. Um, did, did not seem pleased with coming out there with one out to go in the seventh inning. Yeah. What was your thought process behind bringing in Britton in and not giving him the opportunity? Yeah, um, just felt like, you know, he worked pretty hard in the sixth or to finish off the sixth and then into the seventh there and just felt like, you know, Britton Meadows matchup there at that point with our bullpen lined up. I just felt like that was the way to go, um, you know. I, I thought Garrett was great tonight, and he was, you know, pushing 100 and I think 107, 110 pitches at that point. And I just felt like flipping over again with Britt there for for Meadows. I thought it was the right right time for that. Um, I thought I thought Garrett threw the ball incredibly well. Um, you know, I thought that's about as dominant as we've seen him. You know, Choi hit a, I thought, pretty good pitch on the changeup to, to hit it out, and then probably a two-strike mistake to Zanino who put a charge in one. But otherwise, I thought he was in total command tonight. Is there any additional conversation with him after you take him out of the game? Because he still seemed to be kind of uh, fuming a little bit in the dark. No, I think that's just the competitor in him. You know, he's, he's an ace. He wants the ball. Um, you know, I talked to him a little bit after the six when he was at 99, um, you know, when I was considering making a move and, you know, he wanted the ball. So back out he went. And, uh, you know, I just felt like once it got to Meadows, though, uh, I felt like that was the time to get Britt. Just fast forwarding ahead to that ninth inning, you guys had an opportunity there to try to even the score. You decided to go with Andujar when the lefty came in. Any consideration to sticking with Talkman there? A little bit. Um, I just felt like that was that was our shot there, and felt like you know Miggy, you know, could have put a charge into one there. So there was some consideration um, to staying with him, but ultimately I, I felt like the matchup called for uh, Miggy there.